sacred space. A couple of volcanoes were ancient. Ancient and ongoing cultures that found the volcano to be a place of peace and reflection, I'm sure. Consider how a church, synagogue, mosque, temple, or library to be an escape from the stress of normal life. As I travel around the realm, I'm going to ask myself what might bring people here for peace and quiet. Without that volcano right there, the mother volcano, this one wouldn't exist. A Sierra Grande volcano right there. Looking across the Great Plains there towards Arizona. Southwest. No, no, no. Yeah, that's southwest. That's east. It's kind of hard to tell. I've got my compass. I don't want to pull it out right now, though. I want to get real good footage for those of you who are wondering if it's worth the trip. It's absolutely worth the trip. Start way over there and hike across the miles. Come around anywhere. I don't want to go. Now I'm on the bridge. Well, that's the highest part of the rim. I'm on the second highest part of the rim. It's got some easy stepping out there for trailblazing. And uh, so let's go up there. Through there, down, back up, around, into the. Uh, to the cinder cone and then back around down the trails through a time pass towards Clayton and there's some great history of volcanoes uh, to the north northeast there so that's where we're going to go it's a little easier right here so I can video a little better hurt my right hand uh, and uh, squeeze it. And maybe I won't have to get my finger amputated, but who cares? It can be a problem where there's a lot of traffic. here and sing some peace and solitude. I came down that. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. And there's the Sangria de Cristo Mountains starting to form from, uh, I'm looking northwest or west-northwest and there they go, they're popping up. See at the end of my pole? Look like the blood of Christ. Sangria. Del Cristo, the blood of Christ. Yeah, it's beautiful. And uh, here's a good view down into the cone. Yes, we're going to go there, but we got to go up and around because that's a little too rough right there. <sighs> yeah, this is February in the snow. And when you're way out there, there's about 60, 70, 100. I'd say up to 70. You can see all the snow on uh, this volcano. And this is the Campion Raton volcano field. Uh, got a uh, 87 coming from Clayton. Going west all the way to the Rockies and Sangria del Cristo in the Colorado to the next Colorado. Colorado. And past the Sangria uh, Sangria del Cristos. 
the great sand dunes are out that way. Angel Fire, Red River, Taos, Ooh, about 220 miles that way. Gotta watch my step here. Uh, so yeah. Let's see how deep my feet are. Uh, hmm. This is uh I'm gonna go right through there. And hopefully <laughs> man, this is look at all this beautiful snow. And I don't have snow snowshoes or anything. I just stay rugged where I can, but I want to watch that edge. I wouldn't want to step deeper than my leg and tumble to the right and really mess myself up. So I'm looking to keep the basalt rocks to my side. Things to fall into instead of falling down the mountain, down the volcano. Because you can see it's real rugged. And those are actually all across there trees, a little pop up vents from the volcano when it was happening. You know, just kind of bubbling, blowing up volcanic ash bombs, vents. Oh, yeah. Look at this trail, how open it is through the trees. And this is a crater rim, a volcano crater, crater rim. Oh, you think that's uh, not very high, but let me get a better, ooh, look at that, that's deep. Let me get a better uh, angle. To the southeast. Ah, oh, shelter from the wind. See the trees? Oh, that's so nice. Oh, goodness. Ooh. <laughs> that hurt. What was that? I stepped right there and hit my ankle on that. So I have to be real careful. But. Shouldn't quite be at 15 minutes yet. So we're good. I'm gonna do it piece by piece in little segments. And I don't have very professional. I've got the YouTube uh, studio, but nothing professional yet to uh, put together the segments and add music to it and everything. Ooh, that hurt a while ago when I stepped in that hole. A little red right there. Yeah, I've got diabetes and uh, type 2. Ooh, I'm pretty much reversing it. Still on those medicines. I want to get off those statins. They scare me. But it's a real small chance of kidney failure you from a heart attack but I don't want any chances for kidney failure so statins scare me uh, it's, I'm torn between the two so I just exercise and keep as busy as I can oh, I might have to rest my look at these I bet these are beautiful in the spring. I'm gonna come back this spring. Mix and match these plants that I know grow from the green on this rock. It's like the birth of them. Species of, uh, well, plants usually found at higher elevations, bloom with prairie short grass on the slopes of, uh, Capitan Volcano. <coughs> Create an unusual mashup. An example of an ecotone. Ecotone. And the volcano straddles the border between the southern Rocky Mountains 
in the Great Plains, taking a rest here. And plants from both echo regions can be found here with blue grama grass in the spring and summer and cacti giving away the fescue grass and pinion juniper woodland as you travel uphill and uh yeah pinion junipers Ooh. I don't know what that is. It's just a nice, yeah. It's a juniper. Oh, look at this. I'm standing on an iron dome, an iron rock of the earth. You don't want to be here when it lightens. Okay. So, I don't want to, I, I could step out on that, but I'd be stepping on cactus. <laughs> And uh, mine, I'm kind of sore right there on my right foot. I dashed a rock or something. Yeah, you can see the vents. Uh, see the little line there? A little pop up. Uh, they're actually very large. There's little black things. That's basalt. Large. Lava blown out from the cinder cone down in there. I'm gonna get there, but let me get a little higher. Let's see if I can get the top of it. Get my thumb out of these gloves. Okay. Wow, what a cash cow! All this land. How much money could you make off this land? Cowboys, I uh, believe it was Charles Goodnight and Oliver Luffy. They were able to fatten up their Texas cattle and their wallets. The grass in the rich grass is found in the shadow. The shadow of this volcano. They drove livestock. To Colorado. Around the volcano. Well, we can't see. Not from here. And Wyoming. After wandering here, right here where I am today. And uh, the Santa Fe Trail. And the, uh, back from the 19th century, mid 19th century, 1860s and stuff. You know. Uh, the trail drive, you know, that was the basis of the story Lonesome Dove. Y'all remember that? And today you can still see cattle dotting the landscape below. <sighs> Let's see. Y'all see those cows? I don't, <laughs> but they're down there. Uh, they're a little bit of light dots. So, okay. I'm really sore. I'm gonna doctor my foot a little bit. My extremities. Look, a little blood right, right on top of the veins. So. Yeah, here we go. Cold blood don't heal real quick. And then my finger. Pretty numb, pretty numb. I wonder how many minutes I've got. Here's a nice shady spot. 431 or 1432. So getting up to 15 minutes. Uh, I'm going to end it. No, I'm not. I'm not going to end it until I get to the very summit. I'm almost there, y'all. Gotta be careful, it's kinda like you're losing trail here.
you can see the fescue growing up so you don't want to step on any cactus underneath the snow so this looks like the widest way right here How about eight inches? Oh shit! Excuse me. Excuse my language. Walked into that. That's pretty, pretty rough there. Don't want to pull my eye out. I've got my glasses on, but sometimes I put them back. So that's the ground underneath. Some good dirt. It's flattening out a little bit, but right over here. Looking to the uh, northwest. I'll get my map out of my pocket and give y'all a little information on the northwest. And the snow, I hope my footage with this cell phone, this Motorola, does justice a little bit. For your travel curiosity about this beautiful place. I'm glad it eased up a little bit up on the uh, crater rim. And the reason why is the wind uh, blows some of this deep snow down along the side. But it doesn't really get through these trees very well. Kind of swirls. Those all the same there. Oh, this is beautiful. We're getting high, y'all. Uh, land of enchantment. Colorful. Golden New Mexico. <laughs> On the Colorado New Mexico border. Oh. I'll probably be sore. Yeah. Just do it. We're almost to the top. And then, <clears throat> then I'm going to start another video going down this rim into the cone. Ooh, look at this view. Southwest. Actually, it's Oh, it's about 2, 2.30. So, yeah, that's southwest. that step. All right, man. <laughs> yeah, I see a road. I don't know road, but I think that's going to, uh, oh, to Folsom, Mexico, maybe. And, uh, Ravineer Mountain is a remnant of the city of Cone after during this period. The local legend credits the name to, to a Cheyenne or Comanche tree. He was allegedly killed in battle and buried in a secret cave on the mountain. Oh, I'd love to find that secret cave. I see that road, that windy road. That must be the town of Folsom. I used to live out there, uh, southeast Colorado, La Junta. I know y'all heard of La Junta, Colorado. Way beyond there, past those clouds. And you can see the lava trail where the black is. The lava spilled out that way towards the north as it flows to the east. And you'll be able to see, we'll be able to see the black lava flow and how far it went. If 
you look at that black rod there, and I think that's where I have a near bow. And then the lava flows below. Uh, the roof of the rocks, the roofs are ridges. And they sport on the surface of the lava flow, cools and begins to harden. The hot lava continues to flow under the surface. And uh, yeah, the, these are pressure ridges. Okay, see those little lines? They're actually kind of high. And uh, like an underwater atoll. It's not an atoll. It's, it's, uh, it's in the and, uh, Sierra Grande. Uh, Sierra Grande. Excuse me, I'm out of breath and it's hard to talk. On a very high elevation. Top of that one's 8,720 feet. And, uh, I'm not, I'll have to pull my map out and see the elevation of this one. I think I'm at about 9,000 here. Oh. Close to it. Probably about 87,000 feet. And the Rotan Clayton Volcanic Field. It erupted at various times over the last nine million years. I remember that. And uh, the Clayton phase, the second period of the eruptions, occurred three to two million years ago, which is relatively young on the geological time scale. And uh, yeah, it occurred about three to two million years ago. At the eastern ridge of the field, out there, and uh, Sierra Grande. That's not called Mount Dora. That's Sierra Grande. It's the largest volcano in this field. Okay, uh, and it's 8720. If it's some other, it's some other volcano. It's before this one, this one wouldn't exist without that one. It is broad and uh, gently sloped. Mountain made from numerous eruptions of field lava flow. You know, you've got the big lava flow coming down off the eastern ridge, and then another flow coming off of that. And, uh, I thought that was beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause. I'm gonna start it over from here. Okay, and we'll go down the rim. I'll come back to you at the very top peak, probably at about another 70 foot gain or something. <laughs>